question element x decays through a series of alpha and beta minus emission such kind of a thing is known as decay series that first alpha has taken place then one beta negative then beta positive and all that this is known as beta series as uh, decay series which series of the emission results in an isotope of x isotope of x so if there is an element x you want to create an isotope so what are the isotopes isotope is the element which is having the same atomic number but they are having the different atomic mass number so we do not care about the mass number now but the atomic number should come out to be equal to each other in both of the cases so what happens is uh, we know like let us assume that x is given by this a and z now alpha um, is given out like let's say like in all these options first alpha is taking place and then we are talking about beta so let us uh, first have the alpha decay so alpha decay will create another thing which will be the atomic number will be less than two and mass number will be less than four because alpha is written like this isn't it so this is i told you earlier a very famous sodi fazan rule but that rule is not again given in the book so you don't know what sodi fazan is sodi fazan rule is that a is equal to a minus four plus four so this law is valid in the nuclear reactions also uh, which is actually valid or, or popular in chemical uh, in chemistry i would say in chemical reactions uh, but it is even valid in the nuclear reaction this is what is the sodi fazan rule so z is equal to z minus 2 plus 2 now what is happening so alpha has decayed and so it means that the atomic number has now reduced by 2 so we want to increase the atomic number by 2 because you want to have z as another atomic number so what can happen like like let us say we are talking about y now now a beta minus decay is happening so we know this thing that whenever beta minus decay occurs atomic number increases by one so atomic number is going to increase by one so we need two betas it means so this will again become a z uh, sorry x because uh, the atomic number is again coming out to be z only so i'm increasing the atomic number by two a mass number i'm not even commenting so it, it remains the same i think yeah it will remain same plus two beta minus decays have taken place and what is beta minus decay beta minus is actually an electron so it is minus one and the mass number is taken to be zero so clearly two minus z minus two is equal to z minus two isn't it so the atomic number on the right hand side on the left hand side of the reaction is z minus two so the total atomic number on the right hand side of the reaction is z and this is minus two so it is again z minus two so we are going to get an isotope of x it means that a option is correct so one alpha and two betas are required beta minus are required if you want to create the isotope this is how we do this question my dear student so you have to remember that when alpha is happening the atomic number decreases by two when this is alpha when beta minus is happening atomic number increases by one and when beta positive is occurring atomic number reduces by one in beta positive which is actually a positron so atomic number reduces by one this is what you need to remember okay dear student thanks for joining please subscribe to the youtube channel and join the youtube channel if you want to access the paper two questions all the best bye